In this lesson, you will learn about expedited regulatory pathways in Japan and the strategies to provide innovative products to patients as soon as possible. This slide shows the various regulatory pathways in Japan. The uppermost is the standard pathway. Below that, four expedited pathways, namely priority review, orphan drugs, sakigake, and conditional early pathways are shown. The products to be applied and the advantages given to the designated products vary depending on the respective expedited pathways. We will look into the details of each pathway. The first one is the priority review pathway. The review period for the priority review is nine months. The review period for the standard review is 12 months. The shorter review period is a great advantage for applicants and patients in terms of rapid access to products. This is the criteria of designation for priority review. First, the severity of the target disease such as the symptoms are life-threatening or the symptoms are irreversible and causes significant hindrance to daily life or other serious symptoms. The second point is clinical utility. No existing treatments, prophylactic measures or diagnostics or the product offers superior clinical utility over existing treatments, prophylactic measures or diagnostics in terms of efficacy, safety and physical or psychological burden on patients. These points are considered upon designation of the product for priority review. The second pathway is orphan drugs. The review period for orphan drugs is nine months. In addition to a shorter review period than that of the standard review, an applicant for an orphan drug gets a refund from the government for research and development costs as well as a tax deduction. And the price of the product will be at a special premium when it comes onto the market. These are the privileges for orphan drugs. This is the criteria of designation for orphan drugs. First, the severity of the target disease and the second, clinical utility. These are almost the same as the criteria for the priority review. In addition to these criteria, the following conditions have to be met. The number of patients is less than 50,000 or the target disease is designated by the MHLW as an intractable disease and the feasibility of the product development. These points are considered upon designation of the orphan drugs. The third pathway is Sakigake. Sakigake means pioneer or forerunner in Japanese. The term inspires great innovation. The review period for a Sakigake product is six months. This is just half the standard review. To achieve this very prompt review, six months review for Sakigake, PMDA takes a lot of measures, such as prioritize consultation and coordination by a review partner in the development phase and prior review. The purpose of Sakigake is to enable the practical use of innovative drugs and devices that are developed in Japan at the earliest possible time. These are the designation criteria for Sakigake. The product should be innovative, should target a serious disease, should have expected prominent efficacy or significant improvement of safety, should be developed and submitted as a new drug application, NDA, in Japan as the first in the world or simultaneously with other countries. 
Once the product has been designated as Sakigake, a concierge or a review partner who is a PMDA staff member helps the applicant communicate with the PMDA review team smoothly. And there is prioritized consultation. The applicant can consult with the PMDA review team anytime. And there is also prioritized review, a rolling review ahead of NDA, which means that the applicant doesn't need to submit the whole dossier simultaneously. They can submit it in the order if it becomes available. And the timeline of the review is short. The review team draws its conclusion on approval or not within six months. These are the special measures for Sakigake. This slide shows the research and development process of Sakigake products. The upper section shows the standard process of the development. The clinical trial consultation with PMDA usually takes about two months and the review period of PMDA is 12 months. The lower section shows the development process for Sakigake products. The clinical trial consultation with PMDA is conducted in one month and the review period is just six months. Why is it possible to review all the dossiers within such a short period? Because the applicant and PMDA have frequent communication continuously from the early stage of the development. PMDA knows detailed information about the product before the NDA. This is necessary to complete all the review processes in such a short period. This slide shows the key points to note in the post-marketing phase for Sakigake products. When a Sakigake product is approved, Japan will be the first country in the world to approve the product. In that case, because safety information from the post-market phase does not exist anywhere, PMDA is very careful to watch for unexpected, serious ADRs, adverse drug reactions, in the post-marketing phase. Therefore, early post-marketing phase vigilance EPPV, which is a six-month intensive monitoring of the product, is very important to detect such ADRs as early as possible. The fourth pathway is the conditional early pathway. The review period for the product is nine months. The purpose of conditional early approval is to facilitate faster patient access to the product for which conduct of pivotal clinical studies is especially difficult. These are the criteria for conditional early approval. The product should meet all of these four criteria. 1. Severity of the target disease and 2. Clinical utility. These are the same as the criteria for the priority review. In addition, 3. Conducting pivotal clinical studies seems to be impracticable, or if deemed feasible, their execution is anticipated to require considerable time due to the small population of the subject. And 4. The results of clinical studies, other than pivotal studies, suggest a certain level of efficacy and safety. When the product meets these four criteria, conditional early approval applies. This is the research and development process of a conditional early approval product. Once the product is designated as a conditional early approval product, the applicant submit an NDA with the result of the exploratory clinical trial. The result of the pivotal trial is not required for the NDA. The review period after the NDA submission is shortened to 9 months instead of 12 months 
and various conditions are imposed upon approval. For example, conduct post-marketing clinical studies, other surveys, to reconfirm the efficacy and safety. Take necessary measures for the proper use of the product. Under the COVID-19 pandemic, early approval of the pharmaceuticals for treating COVID-19 was required in order to prevent the spread of health hazards in emergencies. This is a table comparing conventional approval and immediate approval in case of a health emergency, such as special approval for emergency and emergency approval. The target of the special approval for emergency is pharmaceuticals which are distributed in foreign countries. Special approval is granted to pharmaceuticals that are approved for marketing in foreign countries. On the other hand, the target of the emergency approval is for all pharmaceuticals which are not distributed in foreign countries. Emergency approval is granted to pharmaceuticals whose safety has been confirmed and whose efficacy is estimated to be effective. A special approval for emergency is granted only to certain products that meet the specific criteria provided in Article 14.3 of the Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices Act, PMD Act, to prevent damage to public health caused by the spread of diseases. The specific criteria are An emergency situation requires an unapproved medical product to be used to prevent damage to the public health caused by the spread of diseases. Such an emergency situation that cannot be managed appropriately by any means other than the use of the unapproved product and such a product is legally available in a country with a regulatory system for medical products that is equivalent to Japan. Emergency approval is established in Article 14.2.2 of the PMD Act to enable early marketing approval in emergencies on 20th of May 2022. Firstly, a pharmaceutical etc. that needs to be used urgently in order to prevent the spread of a disease or other health hazards that could seriously affect the lives and health of people is eligible for early approval if there is no alternative existing treatment. Secondarily, assuming that safety has been confirmed, approval may be granted if the efficacy of the submitted indication has been estimated. Thirdly, as approval is granted at an early stage where efficacy has been estimated, Conditions are provided to ensure the proper use of the pharmaceutical etc. and restrictions are set in place that limit the duration of the approval to the short term. Lastly, special measures are introduced for GMP inspections, the national test for lot release of antibiotics and vaccine, as well as regulations on containers and packaging of the pharmaceutical in order to expedite review process for approval.